Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 13th of October 2021. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the new mythic tarot deck for today's reading. Let's see what these cards have to say about Wednesday and what energy you'll be working with. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards a few times and then I'm going to choose three to see what Wednesday's energy is all about and how you can use it to your advantage, let's see. First card is the Six of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles appeared yesterday. So that theme continues. You get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. <clears throat> something comes to a point of completion and you're able to receive some benefits and rewards. Your hard work pays off. You feel like you're in a good place and you feel like you've got more than enough to start again. So there's a sense of physical abundance, prosperity, of being rich, not hard done by. You feel strong within yourself and in terms of your circumstances. And one, you're able to deal with difficulties as they arise. But two, you're able to look ahead and to say, okay, I've got myself to this position because of my hard work and my discipline and my investments. How can I use all of these good things that I've got going for myself right now to start new ventures and to make new plans and to, rather than use up my resources, how can I invest them wisely? And that just, it doesn't just have to be financial resources. It can be, how can I use my time? effectively, or the fact that I feel strong right now. What can I do with that? Can I tackle difficult tasks? Also, a sense of being stable and connected spiritually even with the woman in purple there. So all of these things, oh wow, the woman in purple, that doesn't usually happen in the Seven of Pentacles. Usually it's just about the earth and money and saying, okay, something comes to fruition and I can celebrate that and benefit from it. But this woman delivering the pentacle to this man, she's giving him the missing piece of the puzzle here, the final pentacle he needs to decorate the pillar. And purple is about spirituality and the other realms, the, the, the spiritual worlds. And they almost appear to you in a physical, practical sense. We've got this young bull here. And it's almost like your higher self gives you something concrete that you can use in your practical life to finish things off and to get to a point where you feel like, wow, I finally made it. So if you do have a meditation practice or any kind of spiritual practice that you engage with, please make sure that you do that this morning because you'll re receive something really useful that's going to make you feel like you have a solid foundation on which you can make new decisions and which you can use to enjoy some time off or a well-earned rest, or you can look at what's coming up and put things in place and to plan it very solidly and effectively. Interesting. Okay. So the Six of Wands, first of all, is a minor arcana card. All of them are minor arcana cards. So these are temporary influences that you'll be able to access on this day. And the minors are energies that last for about a day or two and then they disappear again. So this is a temporary opportunity that you'll be wise to tap into. The Six of Wands usually is King Arthur riding back into town and being applauded because he's found the Holy Grail. Um, here we've got Jason in the Golden Fleece, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And it's a similar sort of situation where a young man full of ambition and drive goes out into the world and he wants to discover something. He wants to find some sort of a treasure. And it takes courage to do that because the treasures usually have been lost for centuries. And the simple idea of I'm going to find the Golden Fleece or the Holy Grail or whatever it may be, it's not usually supported by other people because others are going to say, come on, be reasonable. This has been lost for eons. How are you, a 17-year-old kid, how are you going to find this when other people have failed? So the only way he is able to then go out and, and go on this mission is if he 
has self-belief and if he has confidence and if he says, do you know what? I feel certain that I can do this. It doesn't matter what other people think of me. I'm going to do it anyway and see if I can manage. And the six of wands is a card that says, excuse me, <clears throat> if, you, if you use your inner strength in that way, then one, the likelihood of success is really high and that it's important to stick to your convictions and to say, this is something that's important to me and that's more than enough. And also the strength to do something independently without the support of other people. That's something most of us learn, I feel, in our kind of teenage years. Sooner or later, your friends or your family aren't going to understand what you're on about. And if something's important to you and you want to do it, then yeah, sooner or later, you're going to have to go on this mission on your own. And it's a valuable lesson because we can't always rely on the general consensus. Sometimes you're the one who has the vision. And rather than spend your whole day trying to convince other people of the point of what you're doing, it's more time effective to simply do it, to succeed, and then to demonstrate and to present the positive results. So here we've got him holding this up and saying, come look at me. He's got this red, this is a toga thing. <laughs> He's got this red, it looks like a little dress to me. He's got this red dress on and red is about passion and fire and all of the things I just mentioned, confidence and, and the willingness to set goals and to see them through. These sandals here, the strength to actually do the legwork and to be willing to use your energy in a very focused way. So ask yourself what's important to you. And particularly, if you, if you find that difficult to suss it out, then look at the things that other people don't support. So if your dad is super conservative, but you want to be a, an artist, and you know that that's going to cause some conflict, then on this day, if the conviction is there to join the, the, join the artists, I don't know, the, the training, whatever it may be, then try that out because you'll be surprised at how good you are doing this thing that you were convinced you had to do. And that in itself is, is a nice symbol. Usually when we want to do something, and I think I mentioned this recently as well, there's, there's doubt and, and fear involved. But on this day, there isn't fear of failure. There's just a sense that I have to do this. It's important for me. I don't know why. I'm not going to sit here and analyze it endlessly. I'm just going to do it. So that's the, the, the thing that you ought to use as your, your prompt forward. Am I motivated? Am I feeling it? If the answer is yes, I'm just going to do it. Even if all the details aren't clear yet, I'll figure it out as I go. That then leads you to not only a success that other people are going to admire you for and celebrate, but also it's something that you do for yourself. It's proving to yourself that you can trust your inner guidance, that your convictions and your beliefs are important and that they can lead to good things. The Ace of Cups is the first card in the suit of cups. Cups is water. That has to do with spirituality and love, imagination, creativity, emotional strength, vulnerability, a sense that you're connected, that you're able to go with the flow, and most importantly, that the universe supports you. It loves you, things are going to turn out all right, and that there's some sort of good force working behind the scenes that wants to help you get there. So the Ace of Cups is this blessing that you receive that allows you to feel a sense of comfort within yourself and a sense of peace and harmony. And which one comes first? Are you able to take risks because you feel loved and supported? Or do you take a risk because you feel strong and motivated, you succeed, and then you get to this place of, ah, oh, the angels are singing because you're so proud of yourself. And you've proven that your own intuition and your own motivation leads to somewhere fabulous. Ultimately, the message is if you get vulnerable with yourself and you say, these things are important to me, then the universe allows you to go with the flow here. And not only that, it pushes you in the right direction naturally. So almost watch yourself and zoom out a little bit and see what am I doing and what is so important to me and then support yourself in doing that. It's going to lead to a happy outcome. And you can see that she's, they're very vulnerable, but she's holding 
this giant cup with what seems to be superhuman strength. So it's not meant to all make sense. There are magical and spiritual and divine forces at work here, which allow you to create something that's much bigger than yourself. And that gives you something to almost aspire towards within yourself. You discover this sweet spot within yourself that you know has your best interest at heart. And if you don't trust yourself in general, you learn how to trust yourself today. You build evidence that what you think and feel is good and right. And if you pursue that, it's going to lead to a happy outcome. And then finally, the seven of pentacles, we've got more support from the universe, like I mentioned just now, saying, here's some concrete information, do this, and you'll be able to finish off a long term project, which you care about massively. I mean, the mural in the back that took ages to paint. This is the final piece of the room that's not been decorated. And today you get to say, hooray, I've done it. Awesome. So it's almost like you can read the spread this way. The universe offers you something concrete. You're receptive enough to believe it and to accept the gift and the blessing. And then you're able to achieve these super, superhuman feats of, of you're able <laughs> to perform in a superhuman way. You can surprise yourself with what you're doing. And you can be incredibly surprised by how good the outcome actually is. So it's a very personal journey here. This is about your higher self speaking to you and then how you feel and how you can be there for yourself. And then you can achieve something in the real world. It's not about getting into an argument or conflict with other people or using your emotional understanding and insights to manipulate other people to get them on side. It's about talking to yourself and being your own best friend. So if there is conflict during the day, or if people don't believe you, or they think you've lost your mind because you're planning something and you've decided to tell people about it, one, try and keep things to yourself and just go your own way. And second of all, don't try and convince people. Use the positive aspects of um, the Ace of Cups, which is to access a sense of certainty and comfort in whatever you're doing. And also use your practical capacities to build something for yourself. We've got this man here who seems to be quite strong. And it's about constructing something that's going to serve as evidence that you're right and that you do have like, good ideas, which is going to stand there for a long time. This pillar is going to hold up this building for ages and ages and ages. And Taurus... The bull here is a fixed earth sign. It's about solidity. So you can prove something to yourself emotionally. And the other way around, you can prove and build something for yourself in a tangible physical way, which will serve as a reminder that you've really achieved something. Go you. Hooray. <laughs> so it's a, it's a really fabulous day, whichever way you look at this spread. Number wise, we've got six and... Um, an ace card is one, so that's seven, and another seven. I always feel, I don't know, I mean, seven in numerology is the mind and creativity, but I always think that seven is quite a lucky number. So you are lucky today, so embrace your good luck. Seven and seven is 14, one and four is five, and that's freedom. So by doing all of these things, you're able to create emotional freedom for yourself, financial freedom, and freedom to choose and to spend time doing those things that you love, not what other people are telling you to do. So as far as days go, this is pretty sensational, I would say. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and share the video online. Have a fantastic Wednesday and I'll speak to you tomorrow.